Principles of Engineering is a course that kind of introduces engineers uh, to the idea of like systems integration, building a functional thing that works from start to finish. So it starts as a series of lab classes where you build more and more complex systems with a kind of shared fundamental platform. In our case, this year it was the Arduino. And you kind of learn how to add things onto it and learn how to build complete systems. And then a third of the way through the course, it's okay, well, we've taught you everything you need to know. Go pick a thing, design it, and build it for two-thirds of the class. Uh, and Create some electromechanical system that you find inspiring and take it all the way to the end. Okay, so my team is making a robot that plays guitar. So we have a platform and our guitar in the back. I am working on the strumming system, so at the sound hole. Um, so each of these will pluck three, uh, each one of these will pluck a string. And so we have two sets, so we have all six strings um, here. I'm kind of in charge of getting all of the power and the electricity to everything. Um, so all these solenoids have two wires that have to get routed to the appropriate places. A class like this introduces you to all of the the kind of non-design aspects of getting a project done, right? You run into, you know, wiring motors, you know, reading sensors, dealing with an entire system that has a computational, electrical, and mechanical aspect to it, and you're mixing them together for the first time. So we are building an auto-targeting sprinkler. Um, so basically the idea is you walk by it and it turns around and shoots you with water. <laughs> um, so I've been working on some of the coding stuff. So what we're doing right now is there's a little, there's a Raspberry Pi over there somewhere, or over here, with a camera module. And we're trying to get it to work so that the image processing will run nice and swiftly on that tiny computer, which is running Linux like a, like a real computer, um, except you have to sort of, there are a lot of challenges that go along with coding something like that, a tiny microprocessor. So we're, we're working on making that interface work right now. I think the key learning experience of this class is really taking something from start to absolute finish. So this is really what gets your feet wet um, and what introduces you to the, the kind of whole uh, design cycle for a given product. It's a nice way to find the overlap between working with what you like to do and learning what everyone else around you likes to do and working together as a combination. Yeah, it's the first time that we're really putting all the pieces together of the different things that we've learned. It's awesome.